I have another Fendi handbag here and just so you, you know that um, I did feature and I do feature a lot of hand, Fendi handbags and um, most of them are almost 99% of them uh, I don't repeat um, a handbag review I've only done that with um, with uh, the Mia bag because it has been years since I featured one and also um, the Louis Vuitton Epinoe because I have them in different colors so uh, I had to review them up one by one but anyway this is another Fendi and this is a huge huge massive uh, Fendi uh, cloth canvas um, Zucchino um, FF uh, tote bag and um, most of the Fendi's Fendi tote bags that I have featured have an open top closure or a magnetic top closure. This one is a fully zipped, fully zipped closure. So this is my very first to have a uh, a tote Fendi bag with a top closure in cloth canvas. I've owned them in the coated canvas, of course, if you, as you've seen in my channel. My channel is saturated uh, with, you know, Fendi handbag reviews. So if you're interested, um, you can scroll down my channel. Okay, so um, this is a large, I would say um, large, and I would categorize this as a, as a weekender or a shopping bag. It's really big, it could fit a lot, or a diaper bag, really. Um, and um, yeah, or it's ideal for school, I guess. But. I'm just not so sure. I've always been suspicious of um, the thin, very, very thin um, straps of Fendi handbags. If it could sustain um, the weight, you know, that's why I don't, um, I, I don't uh, put a lot of heavy stuff in my Fendi handbags, especially if uh, the strap is uh, the same as this. Um, most of the uh, Fendi cotton canvas, um, they have this super thin straps. It's like one fourth, one fourth of an inch. What is it that? Anyway, um, let's look at the measurements. Um, this is, mm -hmm. okay, so this is, oh jeez, this is really, really large. This is 12 inches over there, 12 plus, Seven, 19 inches wide wow this is 19 inches wide and then this is um, 12 this is 14 inches in height and the width of course um, you cannot really measure exactly the width on this one it's like four inches but then it can expand you know it can expand so I, I see at its best, I mean, at its uh, widest would be like seven or eight. So, so this is a massive bag, 19 inches, guys. All right, so let's look at the straps. So this is my criticism on this one. Straps, very thin. So I don't care if they've been double stitch or I don't know. I don't know. Um, if you're just going to put in um, light stuff, that's fine. But uh, if you start, uh, I'm not sure because um, the straps of Louis Vuitton's could, um, oh, I'm sorry. I had to put this behind it just so it would stand. It could support it because this is a collapsible bag. This is ideal for storing though, because <clears throat> if you store this, it just collapses. So that's uh, one of the uh, advantages. And this one, normally with, with my Fendi tote bags, they all have an open top. This one, or a or a uh, magnetic snap um, snap top closure. This one is full on <laughs> like this, all right? So I had to put my puzzle here, just so. Okay, so in the back of the zipper is FF. That's what I always look for. Of course, this is very authentic, and uh, I still haven't removed the tag. And then uh, I bought this, of course, so, uh, online. And this is the FF Fendi. And um, 
Fendi has been um, adding a lot of features and putting their um, serial numbers like not just in the back they, they would add another uh, thingy too uh, so this one doesn't have it so the inside of the bag it's super thin guys i don't think this is really really durable it's very 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 thin so it's like good for the price of fendi i don't think this is this is um uh, this is reasonably priced because the material is just freaking super thin like i, I could just turn my 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 uh, pillowcase into something like this right and then just <laughs> anyway uh all right so what's up with that normally with louis vuitton if it has a zip top closure there is no more zip compartment inside but this one has another uh which is really nice also it's an added feature and um this one has a is uh let me just measure it's uh nine inches in length so this is yeah um but uh so this is for your wallet this for your wallet and of course it has ff there again so yeah so um that's nice but um i've noticed guys um there are the problem with this is that it can get uh, ripped or torn easily if this get if you're passing by something i guess with um, nails or some things that are sticking out some sharp metal things that are sticking out this could get ripped that's the problem with fendi's um, even though interiors i've had some of my fendi's fixed by um the dressmaker <laughs> or the laundromat because they just get um, snugged so easily so the prop um this is very okay i mean it doesn't have um normally you would say see tears and rips uh, there you're in there or snugging this one the problem is uh, it's not so obvious but i want mine to be perfect like this has started snugging already like here but it's still okay not 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 uh, actually in the pictures they didn't feature this it just has a little bit of fraying or snugging on the top bit so um this has like a double fold here Th this one is like single but when it comes to the top part it's like they folded it double which is good but that's the one that got snug that got frayed or this one like this one but uh it's not a big deal but um yeah this was expensive Fendi handbags are expensive it doesn't matter whether it's vintage or um or worn or something it's still very very expensive but um this is very very light so uh this is good for transporting i don't know um this is a good diaper bag actually <laughs> and i wouldn't uh, suggest this to be like a school tote because if your books could or notebooks if it has a wire could puncture the thing so this is a very very sensitive very delicate um material so at least with the baguette or something it's just for tiny 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 um bag and it's not but this one uh, I, I think the size is just enormous and um yeah that's just my concern is this one it, it might not be able to support uh support uh, the the weight of yeah but um i haven't you know i haven't really filled this up but uh because i just got this but uh, we'll see um it's lightweight that 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 i could assure you and um uh starting it would be uh would be um very easy see you can just fold it or you know so that's it so there you go guys um uh, i have uh, more fanbies to come so um you know um please come back <laughs> okay bye